can I see in there? Let's see. Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, Wednesday morning. First day of practice here at uh, OH Ivy on Bass Champs, and you saw that's our fourth or fifth bite on that big swim bait Terry Stone. Terry Stone, the BBZ. I'm throwing the uh, the new uh, Six Cents, and uh, we're just going to bang around today. We got a little cloud cover, high skies. The water's cooled off. It's uh, 74 three here. So it's about 10 degrees cooler than what it was. We're thinking these fish are gonna feed up. One of the fish, he's had his hooks bent over until just then, and I've been throwing something else till just now. But uh, one of the bulls was a big one. Now again, it might have been a great big gar, but something big bowled on it. So we're gonna stick a couple of fish till we stick a big one, and then we'll, uh, we'll probably bend our hooks back over. So let's, uh, let's work through the day, and uh, here we go. That was five minutes later, by the way. Big fish fest continues so far. <laughs> if you can see that bait where we're sitting. You can you can see down 12 feet probably. It's so clear. It is really pretty. We're gonna need bigger ones than that for sure. We're a long way from shore. And homeboy's looking for a place to come hang out. Can't tell what he is. He's got a little bitty head. Must be some kind of a low water snake. I'm going to give him a headache with his pal rod if he gets too close. <laughs> what I will say is the same thing I said in an article once. Even non-poisonous snake bites hurt. He's just coming on with it, isn't he? Just chill. I don't know what he is. <laughs> it's all of a sudden big and eating. <laughs> you remember those worms they made that looked like a snake swimming across the water? Yeah. What was it called? I don't know. I remember exactly what it you had. It even had a head on yeah. it like a snake. Yeah. The little old dude's just a chilling. It's a little old bitty snake. 
I think he'd get eaten out here. Uh-oh. Terry Hawkins. Definitely got his flotation device going on. Uh-oh, snake's coming to us now. Snake's like... Well, I got a fish on it. Ain't worried, but I guess I might... Man, he starts crawling this boat. Dude! You can get away from here now. <laughs> Hawkins got a fish on. I'm trying to fight the snake out of the boat. He's right there. Go on now. Get away from here. Ooh, that gives me the quillies. There he goes. Just, he's gonna go oh, he's going to go to the jack. bike. Yeah, Crap. Dude, get out of here. Get out of here now. Uh-oh, he's up in the motor. I don't want to hurt him, but I don't want him in the boat neither. Get, 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 get. Go on about your business. That's what we got. How's that for a fiasco? Man, that gives me the willies. He gone. All I'm doing is I got a little old mojo rig that's pegged with a pegger. And I haven't shown you all the fish, but I've caught three or four here in the last hundred yards. Just, they're just keepers though, they're not gonna help us. So just a quick update, it's uh, it's 11 o'clock. Uh, we've gotten on an area where there's a little bit of wind blowing on it, and it's basically just a flat with these bushes scattered out across it. Terry's still throwing the Spro. I just switched to a, a different color. It's called Live Shiner in the Sixth Sense. And we've now had two bona fide four plus pound fish small follow. Uh, one was a largemouth, and I mean, I'm saying four, it could be seven. You can't tell, but you know, they're obviously big fish. We're getting good looks at them. Uh, and then, uh, Terry just had another, I just lost a fish, but it was just a little old bitty fish. And then uh, we saw another one that was a big smallmouth, looked like a four or five pound smallmouth, big smallmouth. So we're hoping there's supposed to be a lot of wind forecast for Saturday and usually they'll commit to these baits more. So we're gonna keep throwing them some, even though they're not committing to it today with the hope and the knowledge that, you know, we get some cloud cover or some wind or both, they'll bite it better. So we're gonna keep swinging it. And then here in a little bit, we're going to go hit a drag spot. I think we're going to go a little flipping later this afternoon. So that's our kind of midday update today. Chunk of the 
I reeled my fluke up and I saw that fish, or I saw a fish chase it up and just dropped it straight back down and rope, she grabbed it. Okay, so that's day one of practice at OH Ivy. Um, we're getting a lot of bites, and, and this is what's gonna be confusing to some guys if you look at the results. There were only two teams that weighed 10 fish limits, but it's, a, it's an odd slot lake, so you can only weigh two fish under 18 inches, between 14 and 18 inches, unless they're smallmouth, and smallmouth obviously weren't biting at all. So <clears throat> we knew we were not on the kind of fish we needed to be on, but we were getting bites and we're gonna start refining from here. So I think this will be interesting for you guys and we got some good information too and I'll share that with you and who that came from and how that helped us out as well. But that's our first day of practice. A lot of fish, a couple of good fish in the morning. We felt like we had hooks bent over on those big swim baits and then a lot of follows but we couldn't get those fish to key or to actually commit to a bait. So I'll talk about who helped me out with that and what we did and, and look I'm sure a lot of guys would do this video and say this is what I figured out a lot of bass fishing is what you can figure out but also having friends you can trust that you'll talk to and tell them the truth and they'll tell you the truth back and we had some help here that helped us out some so uh, let's do a real quick spark drawing by the way uh, so this is for a $250 gift certificate from our friends at Spark Fishing this will be for anybody that has changed their electricity provider this year to Spark Energy or has joined the Spark Fishing Affiliate Program, which there's still a bunch of money to be won on that this year through the Big Bass. So let's go down here to the bottom. Let's dig out that name right there. And that is Robert Paxton out of Flower Mound, Texas. Robert, congratulations. Be looking for an envelope that says rewards on it. And that's going to have a $250 gift card in it from your friends at Spark Energy. So thanks for tuning in guys. I apologize, I know I've been sporadic. Uh, last week I only posted one video. I may only get one up this week. My work is completely crazy with year end coming up. Uh, and then we've got some things going on here at the house that I'll talk more about. I'm gonna miss quite a bit of time here in the next few weeks and I'll explain what's going on with me with a little bit of health issues I got going on. No big deal, but I'll talk more about that in the upcoming videos. So thanks for tuning in. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to get up videos as often as I possibly have time to do, but uh, I don't do this for a living. As you guys know, I'm a life insurance guy and it's a really, really busy time in that business right now. And so I got to focus on that business more than I can focus on my fishing right now, probably through the end of the year, but I'll continue posting up the best con uh, content I can possibly get up for you guys, and I hope you guys will stick with me through this process. By the way, I've had three different guys make a comment to me uh, just in the last few weeks, and it's one of the biggest comments you guys could make to me. I've had, and it's they have almost all said the same thing verbatim. They've said, "I've never met you, but I watch your videos." And I feel like you're either they said, I feel like somebody I've known for a long time or somebody that I have beers with every week. And I really appreciate that. That makes me feel good. That's that's the kind of community I wanted to foster to create with my channel. And I'm glad you guys feel that way. Every time one of you guys walk up and introduce yourself, that's how I feel. I feel like I just have expanded my group of friends with like minded guys and girls across the United States. I had a great conversation driving out to Ivy with the guy who lives on Clear Lake, uh, Blake, and, and just great conversation with him. 
uh, about boats, which was really fun. So thank you guys for reaching out when you do and all the positive comments you give me. And as always, when you're critical of me, if it's something I can fix, I try to do that. I'm always open to trying to make the channel better. And I am working still, guys. I'm still going to do the metal boat reviews, but I'll tell you in the next few weeks kind of why I can't do that right now. Uh, what I've got going on is going to kind of keep me off the water for a little while. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Very much appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys again. I'll have a video up again as soon as I can possibly have time to get one edited. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy the OHIV series.